Okay, did you get a chance to try it? If you did, you probably discovered that there's a couple of little oddities going on here, right? The, the obvious one, I don't know, maybe it's obvious to me, but I, so, but the one that I would expect that many people do is they, they've understood that 25 steps move means move uh, forward 25 steps, and so minus 25, negative 25, means move from right to left. And so I could do this, and what I get is not so much the cat walking from right to left as moonwalking from right to left. And maybe that's exactly what I wanted. But, but it seems wrong, doesn't it? And so the issue is, how can we fix this? How can we do it differently? And so my guess is that if, you, if that bothered you and you wanted to play with things, that you might have started next by coming back to places everybody and say, well, look, I know that, that pointing in direction 90 is pointing to the right. Right? And so the idea is, well, maybe instead what I want to do is point to the left, because if he's pointing to the left, then 25 steps is moving forward. And so you might try this, and the problem is he does now point to the left, and he does now move from right to left, and he does walk as he does it, but he walks on his head. Well, that's stupid. That's not what we want, is it? All right, here's where I have to introduce one more additional little block that you may not have explored in your previous explorations. And again, this is mostly a scratch issue now more than it's a programming issue, but it's a good thing for us to look at. And this is something that's under the motion tab, and it's down here at the very bottom of the motion tab. It's the idea of rotation style. Um, Scratch has three styles of rotation. The default that most sprites open up with is what's called all-around rotation. And what that basically means, I'm gonna, and I'm going to actually add this into my, um, I, I don't technically need it here, uh, but I'm going to add it here anyway because I'm going to use it here in a few minutes. In all-around style, the idea is that as you change the direction, the cat literally points in the direction you want him to be in, right? So as I change this to different angles, he's literally pointing right now up and to the left, mostly up. I can have him point up and to the right, almost entirely up. I can have him point straight to the right, negative 90. And the problem is he fully rotates, so he's moving all around as he does that. There are two more options here, um, and the one that we want to use is actually this left-right option. What the left-right option does is to have the cat only pointing pure left or pure right, and recognizes that if he's pointing to the left, we don't really want him standing on his head. And so you'll notice that all the cat does, no matter what we do here, if it's a negative number, the cat is going to be pointing to the left, but with his feet to the ground. And if it's a positive number, right, any form of positive number, even if I'm saying positive 1, which should be uh, positive 10, right, even if I say positive 10, which should be almost straight up, he's still pointing facing the right. You'll notice that here it says he is actually pointing in direction 10. And so that and, and that matters. Um, we have to be careful using left right because it appears he's pointing purely left or right. But the, the idea then is that I can say have him point to the left, put him in rotation style left right, and now when I have the cat move 25 steps, he's moving 25 steps forward because he's pointing purely to the left, 25 steps forward is that direction, but now he actually walks the direction that we want him to walk to the left. Again, we have to be careful because if I had accidentally said negative uh, 75, right, notice that negative 75 is actually up and to the right a little bit, and so when I move 25 steps, he's even though he's pointing left, he, visually, direction-wise, he's pointing up and to the left, and so he actually will walk up and to the left. And, and that might be exactly what we want, right? 
but we have to use this left-right style when we want to add that kind of animation. By the way, I should talk about the third style. The third style is the don't rotate style. The don't rotate style leaves the cat always pointing straight to the right. No matter what direction we put in here, he's always going to point to the right, right? No matter what we put in here. But when he moves 25 steps, he will move in that direction. And so we can add in this concept of moving in any direction we want, moving from left to right or up and down. And so now by playing with this rotation style, by playing with the steps that you're working with and the angle that he's in, we can actually create a cat that not only moves from right to left, oops, see, I put him in don't rotate, that's not what I want, I want left, right. I put that in my places, everybody, so that I keep it there. He can move from left to right, and he can move from top to bottom if we were to choose to do this, right? So if we wanted him to move uh, from the left edge down, we could say point, you know, let's go, let's go slightly down and to the left. Now we have this idea of walking in any direction that we want him to walk 